Hey guys, Alex aka Miggy here. So today's topic is natural bodybuilding. You see, natural bodybuilding is not something that is natural at all. Let's check the natural bodybuilding facts. Nowadays, natural bodybuilding stands for, quote, no levels of steroids or other performance enhancing drugs are currently detected in the blood, end quote. What you should know is that there are a number of effective methods to be drug testing, from simply timing the drug cycles or even paying bribes. In the modern world of sports stars, our quote, natural bodybuilding and drug free end quote, athletes have a large choice of performance enhancing drugs to choose from. Some of them include growth hormone, testosterone and thyroid medications. So full natty or full of crap? First. Let's see how, quote, natural bodybuilding, end quote, is defined. The actual definition of a drug-free athlete is very ambiguous. Some experts claim that someone who takes bodybuilding supplements such as creatine is not natural. What's interesting is that a number of bodybuilding federations actually approve natural supplements and pro-hormones that contain illegal substances. Jeff Rodriguez pictured weighs a mere 180 pounds and he still looks huge and ripped. Most people would think he's at least 220 pounds. In comparison, real natural bodybuilders do not look heavier than they really are. If we compare Jeff Rodriguez to Eugene Sandow, who was a true natural bodybuilder from the pre-steroid times, we can easily notice that Jeff Rodriguez is much bigger and more shredded, even though Sandow's weight was about 170 to 180 pounds standing at 5 foot 7. Steroids can make you appear much bigger. Now that you know the above, here's the kicker. Both men and women can compete in a natural bodybuilding sporting contest and have no traces of steroids in their system, even after finishing an intense steroid cycle 2-3 to three months ago. Officially, they don't really care to dig deep into your steroid taking history. As long as they can't detect any performance enhancing drugs right now with their rather limited tests, then the athletes and bodybuilders easily pass these doping tests. When you use steroids for a number of years, building muscle and pushing your body to the limit, do you really think that an athlete will lose all of his steroid gains if he or she stops using steroids for 2-3 to three months? The answer is no. You see, so many supposed, quote, natural bodybuilders, end quote, on YouTube these days. These guys and girls make me laugh out loud. Many of them actually think that most people are gullible not to notice their unnatural physique. Facts first. It's a well-known fact that Olympic athletes are using performance-enhancing drugs and passing the actual drug testing. Take a look at the most famous cyclist, Lance Armstrong. He was the most drug tested athlete in cycling history. Lance Armstrong has passed all the drug tests and now admits to using steroids. These athletes are competing in worldwide events where the money is big and their reputation is at stake. And they are still passing the drug testing which meant to be the strictest in any sporting history. Now compare that to the natural bodybuilding. An event where there is literally no money involved. At these events, testing for steroid abuse is costly and they still need to be paid for. There are usually two bodies who will pay for the performance enhancing drug testing. There will be either the sporting federation or the sponsor. How to pass a steroids test? During a steroids test, they analyze your urine. This is the most cost effective way to test for performance enhancing drugs. There are a large number of steroids that can't be tested in urine. You can also cheat your way through this test. And this is how you do it. You can simply strap a small balloon or rubber pad full of clean urine under your balls and ask for some privacy while you take a pee. Women also carry clean urine which is hidden in a rubber pad in their bras. As mentioned before, these tests are very basic. Taking the diuretic will cover up most steroids. Bribing the officials can also work. Most people love free money. 
There are a number of highly experienced bodybuilders and athletes who have mastered exactly when to stop cycling steroids, so they don't show up on drug tests, yet they still keep some serious strength and muscle gains. You can verify this with a simple search online. The benefits you derive from taking these steroids will still be there even when you are clean weeks or even months down the track. All that is required is for you to keep up the right nutrition and exercises. There are known cases where the organizers of the bodybuilding shows will simply cover for their high-profile bodybuilder friends by switching or throwing away their dirty urine samples. Some bodybuilders resort to using sinful or other artificial muscle fillers to improve their look. If done right, they can certainly add to their physique. They do not test for these artificial enhancements. So let's take a look at the favorite steroids of quote, natural bodybuilders, end quote. Insulin. This substance is great for gaining muscle and is quickly eliminated out of the body, usually in four to six hours. Human growth hormone. The most expensive steroid tests can detect HGH and they never use them at the bodybuilding shows. IGF-1 and MGF-1. This substance does a magnificent job at increasing the muscle fullness and size. The results stay with the user for several months after discontinued use. It's almost impossible to detect during shows. Ephedrine and Clenbuterol Most natural athletes will use ephedrine and clenbuterol to get shredded and stop using these substances just a few weeks before the competition to avoid failing a drug test. Myostatin inhibitors these can't be detected and work very well. Prescription steroids. This is where it gets interesting. Certain athletes have doctor prescriptions for drugs which they can use because they have an illness or a condition. Instead of getting a dose of TRT from a dealer, you can get one from your doctor, legally. I realize that many of you might find this article upsetting because like you, I was also under a fairy tale spell for most of my younger years. And I also realize that there are some decent and completely natural athletes and bodybuilders out there. But when it comes to money and fame at the elite level in the world rankings, meaning the champion and top level competitors, you won't find anyone who is not using performance enhancing drugs. This is the reality and these people are seriously hungry for success at any cost. If you have a multi-million dollar contract at stake, or you are a popular online fitness model with hundreds of thousands of followers, you would too also do anything to stay on top and ahead of your competition. That's the real world. And just because you already know more than 95% of people out there about the secret underbelly of steroids in sports and fitness, I have something extra for you. Red supplements offer legal, safe and proven sports supplements and pro hormones that will boost your strength, stamina and muscles. Victor Pride and his team have a ton of experience with bodybuilding nutrition and dietary supplements. I have included the links to Red supplements in the video description. Thanks for watching, your friend Alex aka Miggy.